being intentional with your time as far as what is your adventure what inspires you what what relieves your stress most of the time we already know those answers well then you have to make time for that to happen you have to make time for your adventure either you control your schedule or your schedule controls you either you're in charge there's some planning that takes yeah. place so you're talking about the planning and preparation but i just want to add on one more thing Please. we got to invite him in the car oh my gosh right more goosebumps a million names that deserve to be shouted out to. So hey, you know what? You put it in a word document. We'll just yeah. attach it to this. That way, everyone gets recognition. <laughs> Allow yourself to be open to new challenges. Um, to lay out a path of a, a, pro, a plan to how to navigate through that successfully. Embrace change. I'm just fascinated by how something like that can pick up and gain momentum. And I feel like those small actions kind of shape our identity of who we are. So I try to be really thoughtful about what are the little things that I want to do daily to really make me get the ball rolling. And so we all still make the connections, but we have different roles that we play. In, oh my in gosh. Networking. You'd be my favorite person at a big conference. Just <laughs> when an extrovert comes and makes a buddy with an introvert, it just makes that introvert's day. So I mean, now I still look at him and go, interesting that you think that, that you know everything. <laughs> and you're, you're telling me a little bit more about yourself. So I'm just, I'm always just so, um, it, you know, so uh, willing to listen to people's stories. There's an old Grizzly, uh, you know, construction <laughs> superintendent, but boy, right. you really get to know them. You know, they are very smart. And, mm -hmm. and those, that's where you find the talent sometimes that's hidden. Wow. I, and and it, again, reasons, mm -hmm. but they're on my goal board because I really want to meet them one day. And so maybe I'll send them the link to this interview. Like when I get a chance to meet them and say, I said that I would meet you guys. Here, are you trying to tell me that SpongeBob SquarePants is a positive role model for us? Is that what you're saying to me? I think he is. Yeah, yeah. Employee of the month. Someone else is also going to dislike, so I probably shouldn't ask them to do it because that's just me. And then I realized, no, there is someone else who loves to do what I dislike and vice versa, right? And so imagine bringing all those folks together. Now everyone's doing what they love. You know, it doesn't have to be a Paris impressionist to have that sense of gravity of like something special, right? It can be those micro moments in people's no lives. such thing as an insignificant job. Uh, there's just people who find their jobs insignificant. And so the truth is we can all in our daily life tell a great story by being excellent. Are you just doing things because you like it or is it the right thing to do for the right people? Right, so when we think about communication, my pushback when I, when I do this training is, are you communi communicating because you like to communicate that? Inspires, man. So one of my favorite things and, and probably, gosh, Gary, since before you and I met was watching aha moments happen right yeah. i i love that and and again your I... purpose is okay what are you going to do with the skills talents and abilities that you've been given to live out your your, your purpose and that's where you, you know you fine tune it and the was with that person or that was a pleasant person to be around so that's what really inspires me to just be as authentic and... my personal mantra is integrity always prevails and it really I think encapsulates all of these things from today. You know, one of the things I didn't expect to successful businesses, hands down, the people are where it all happens. And so but when you break down that 70, 20, 10, 70% 70 of your growth and knowledge is really just getting yourself in. Are you doing something that they were born to do? That's powerful. That is a cool thing. That is an alignment in someone's people life. People that taught me to believe in me. And, you know, these are the people that, while I may not have appreciated at the time, but as I got older, I realized they weren't working against me. They were working towards me and for me, for me to learn. And mm. pressure off. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's just two-handed. You know, if they're doing all they can and they're providing the best customer service, the least I can do is make sure they're okay. I mean, that's I the bare My career pulled me aside and said, what are you doing, Richard? Let your work do the talking for you and lose all that ego. So that's what I try. And uh, it's taken me a long time to get to who I really am 
and for me to understand and process that if you don't like me because of who I am, that's okay. There's a and I said it to my kid and my son just yells from downstairs, I can hear you laughing while you send me. <laughs> and that just made me laugh even more. My ha it's my happy place on Mondays now, so when we start back up, I'm excited. And uh, I just keep thinking about like, go against a lot of times against the grain, um, you know, not doing the status quo or seeing life with a different point of view than anybody else, um, it, it, it inspires me. And I, and I, that's one of those moments where I stop and take You know what's on the other side when you've seen it. I, I'm much, much more um, excited about going into a room because I know what will happen at the end of that conversation, a meeting, uh, any notes on this one. Guys, y'all give it up for none other than Kevin Owens. Oh. Wow, I, uh, can we do that introduction again? I, I want to take you with me wherever I go. That's, that's I'll be your fantastic. hype man. If you ever, if you ever speak, <laughs> right. and just, I'll bring out and uh, hype you up. I'll, I'll get that crowd all ready for you. Yeah, but I definitely hey, want to do that. You don't need Every any time you have an experience. It's just ask yourself why. If it was a good experience, why was it a good experience? What, what, what did this company or this employee do to make it a great experience? And if it's a bad one, you might be upset, frustrated, perhaps. perhaps but ask yourself why. Things that are trying to take you off your path. But just think about this, maybe maybe you weren't on the right path. Maybe you needed to be redirected. Ooh. I mean, and maybe you had to learn from this to uh, to grow, to be the person that you're meant to be. I mean, oh. that'll just take a little bit and listen a little bit more, have a little more patience with the person in front of us. Um, really be curious about what it is they're trying to, to share, what problem they're trying to solve. Um, I think we might be doing ourselves all a favor. So, I don't know. Give it a listen. We'll see. <laughs> okay.